How are you guys doing today? It's BZ Brook. Today, I wanted to discuss New Year's resolutions and how you can better stick to them for 2019. If you guys don't know who I am, I am um, a first year's university student studying computer science at the University of Nottingham. And I make videos on student life and student budgeting specifically. Currently, I believe I am the only channel out there to uh, focus on helping students manage their money. So please don't subscribe and stay tuned if you think that would be helpful for you. Now let's get right into this video. Let me start off by saying this. New Year's resolutions have a 8% success rate. But what people fail to mention is that that applies to the average person. So just by doing things a little bit differently, you can actually increase your chances uh, significantly. For example, last year I was able to achieve about 50-ish percent of my um, New Year's resolutions from last year. So you might be wondering what are those different things that you can do to actually increase your success rate? Well, I'm going to tell you that after I tell you um, some of my personal goals for this year. This will show you guys how I like to lay out my goals and I'll re be referring to my own goals um, as examples when I actually give the advice. So please do stick around for this bit as well. I generally break my goals down into four categories, um, business, fitness, uh, university and miscellaneous. For my business goals this year, I want to um, save X amount of money, start a real world business uh, that is profitable, read a book every week and get a thousand subs on YouTube. But the main goal this year for me is to profit from a real world business. And here's why. So previously, I've only ever made money online. So, and I believe like a experience with real world businesses and dealing with real people, um, that experience will be equally as valuable to me in the future, which is why I have made it like, or, I guess priority number one this year, um, if you can even call it that. We'll see how that goes. So for my fitness goals, um, there's a bunch of like specific numbers I want to hit uh, in terms of like certain lifts, but I won't bore you guys with that. And obviously there's like other goals in terms of like cardio and like um, diet and stuff like that. It's gonna be listed on the um, screen right now. I'll edit that in when I come to editing the video, I guess. So for my university goals, I want to get a first this year. So for my university goals, I want to get a first, stay on top of my lectures and my coursework, and also uh, hopefully get a summer or winter internship. And as for the miscellaneous section, I use this to kind of um, use these for changes to like my personality and stuff. So for this year, I want to be able to empathize with others a bit more because uh, that's like one of the things I feel like I really lack in because you, you know them people that go, oh yeah, you shouldn't really give a fuck about what you others think. See, I'm on the like opposite end of that spectrum where I give zero fucks and I need to actually start caring a little more about what other people think and like how they feel and stuff like that. Anyways, I digress. So if you've enjoyed the video so far, please uh, like and subscribe. I honestly do appreciate every single one of you guys' support. Um, here are the two subscribers that I gained since last video. Their names are like popped up somewhere on the screen now. Um, I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. So finally, I'm gonna give you like five tips on how to actually stick to your New Year's resolutions. And they are number one, realize that you are actually going to fail a few. Um, and it's perfectly okay. For example, I'm, I know I'm probably actually gonna fail one of my fitness goals or one or more of my fitness goals at least because you know I, I, I'm not that dedicated like I haven't been de that dedicated to working out and stuff for a few months now and it's just like kind of you know taking a backseat to everything but you know it's perfectly okay because um, your mind might change during the year where you're like oh I want to pursue something better and more beneficial to me and that you know that's like it's perfectly fine it's it's flexible number two break your goals down into very specific sub goals so for example um for my get a thousand subscribers goal for youtube i have i've broken it down into like certain actions that i'm going to take rather than like 
micro goals as uh, for example like get 10 subs get 100 subs get 500 subs see those goals are good but like they don't actually uh, tell you specifically what you should be doing to get there so definitely break your uh, like kind of big goal down into smaller goals but make it very specific and make it actionable number three aim lower now <laughs> this might seem counterintuitive um, because but it actually makes a lot of sense if you really think about it. So I got this piece of advice from one of uh, Jordan Peterson's lectures. And basically what he says is that the reason that a lot of people don't actually hit their goals is because like they set their goals so high that they become just so intimidated and like end up not even giving it a shot. What he says you should do is approach it in a way that um, where you kind of negotiate with yourself and slowly build up to the final goal. Obviously, he explains it a lot better than me, so I will link his video down in this description below. I highly recommend you go watch that right after this video. Number four is all about being dedicated uh, to the actual task. So now you know exactly what you need to do. It isn't so much about motivation anymore. It's just about like, you know, slowly building it into your um, routine and like just doing it without thinking because I mean there are obviously going to be days where you just cannot be bothered to pursue a certain task or goal and my advice to you is that you should build it into a, your routine or like lifestyle in such a way where it's like you almost can do it without thinking or like consciously uh, deciding whether or not you should do it it's just like you do it and there's there's literally no backup option, if that makes sense. Number five, and which brings us on to the last tip, incorporate it into your lifestyle. What I mean by that is, you need to build it up to the point where you kind of um, do work on it subconsciously. So for example, I've been working out for two years now, and in order for me to get myself to the gym, I kind of do it without thinking. So. That will make it a lot easier for you to drag yourself uh, to, let's say, the gym, even on days when you really don't want to work out. And obviously, even if you're not that productive or efficient at doing the uh, specific task, I mean, having a go is better than having no go, at least in my opinion. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, please leave a like and subscribe if you have not already. Also, uh, comment down below what your goals are for this year so we can keep each other accountable. And with that, I'll see you guys next week.